Hello, Christians, and I have a microphone on. Now it's not on. Okay. What was this video going to be about? Um, I think I'm going to make this video about... God. Yeah, here we go. a Christian God. And why I do not believe in the main reason I don't believe in So we have... God. He is God. He is omniscient, right? He knows everything about you. Before you ever do it, he knows everything, okay? Every single detail. Before you ever even fucking think about doing it, he knows what you're gonna do. That's awesome, right? Now, many people have answered this question, you know, the obvious one that you're probably gonna get. People say, well, it's like if you went to the future and you, you know, if you went to the past, and you wrote yourself a letter saying everything you do for that week, and you bundled it up and put it in an envelope, and you left it for yourself to open one week. After that, when they found that letter, even though you knew what they were going to do, they still chose to do everything, right? They still had free will. Okay, I understand that. The thing I don't get is why this god would create mankind knowing full well before he ever created this that millions and Billions of people would suffer an eternal hellfire just because he wanted to create us. Um, did I choose to be created? No, I, I don't think I did. And God created me knowing I'd be an atheist, knowing that I wouldn't be a Christian, and knowing that I would go to hell before he ever created me, and he, he chose to create me. So this is an ideal that's been long since known. It's called predestination. The problem with predestination is it makes God look like a total douchebag. Like, really? What kind of douchebag does that? First of all, he created Adam and Eve. He's like, okay, you have to think about it from this mentality. I already know these little fuckers are going to sin and disobey me flat out, right? I already know that. But you know what? You too. Don't eat from that tree. You hear? I totally know they are. They're going to do it. They're gonna fucking do it. I already know. Fuck, I knew before I even built the clay together. Before I even said, let there be light, I already knew they were gonna do it. So, Adam and Eve, you know, do the thing, they eat the apple, and then God shows up, you know. He's like, hey, did, uh, did you two eat my fucking apple? I know it's not an apple, by the way, it's just a fruit. So, did, uh, did, did you two, um, happen to eat an apple? Happen to eat a fruit? Huh? Did you, uh, happen to eat a fruit? And they're like, um, no. Then why are you hiding in the bushes, huh? Huh? Why are you hiding in the bushes? It's too much planning, it, dumbass. Right? Does this make me feel worse? And they're like, um, uh, because we're naked. How'd you know you were naked, huh? And he's like, getting excited now, you know? Huh? How'd you know you were naked? Hmm? Uh, yeah, are you sure you didn't get from the tree? Huh? And they're like, yes, yeah, so we are from the tree. And he's like, okay, you know what? Even though I knew 100% that you two were going to eat from the tree prior to me creating you and the world, I'm going to go ahead and punish you even though I allowed it to happen. Okay, you, man, you're going to have to work for a living. You're going to have to work the set. You're going to have to, like, I think it says, like, you're going to have to work the land and it will receive crappy harvest and shit like that. And first of all, that doesn't even work anymore nowadays. I mean, think about it, guys. I mean, I don't know about you, but I haven't really had to plow a field in my lifetime. I have had to do back-breaking back labor, but I haven't really had to plow a field. And I know some men who are born in their wealth, and they don't have to do shit their entire fucking lives. So that's not a very good curse for man's part. Now women get it really fucking... Here's the great thing. Let me get really fucking bad. I will increase the pains of childbearing, which is like a word... This is like the main thing we this bitch about. You know, and then not only that, but the thing that most people don't realize is that God even says in marriage man shall rule over you. Do you even realize what that means? It means that man will be dominant over you. He pretty much owns you in marriage. That's what the biblical term of marriage means. So I mean, really, people. Okay. Uh, so I got that shit going on, right? And if her, he knew every motherfucking thing that was going to happen. He knew Lucifer was going to betray him, yet he made Lucifer the angel. And by the way, do angels have free will? 
Because otherwise, how the... And by the way, if he knew prior to Lucifer being created that he was going to end up being evil, doesn't that mean that God created evil knowing evil was going to exist? I I'm just trying to get this straight, dude. This is, like, really fucking confusing. If evil is in the world, and everything is created from God, doesn't that mean that God created evil? See, he's not all good. God is... God can't be all good. He can't create a tree of knowledge of good and evil without being evil and good. But in order to create Lucifer, maybe... Maybe he, like, divided himself up into two entities, you know? One of them good, one of them bad, and he, like, battle it out, you know? But then again, dude, he's gonna win anyways. Why not just destroy Satan now? Why test this like this? This is... God is like a bored little kid with a magnifying glass. He's like... Yes, that's Bruce Almighty. But, I mean, really, he knew every motherfucking thing. And then he's like... It's the same way throughout the Bible. He's like... Hey! I'm trying to think of an example in my head. Uh, shit. Can't think of another time when God talks to somebody. Ah, oh, here we go. He created the Egyptians to enslave the Hebrews, right? He created the Egyptians knowing full well they would enslave the Jews. And though they were enslaving the Jews, he. Here's an. Oh, you know what? I'm going to jump in from thought of thought. I'm really. I've got a lot of thoughts in my head right now. Okay. He doesn't always punish the right people, you know? Like, Adam and Eve, he doesn't pu just punish those two people. He punishes all of their motherfucking children. What the fuck? What a douchebag. That'd be like... And, and then you go to Egypt, right, when they're enslaving the Jews, and you got, like, the Pharaoh. And rather than killing the Pharaoh, he kills his son. What does his son do? What, what did the Pharaoh's son ever do? Really, he punishes every, all of mankind for the act of two people, and then he kills somebody's son for what his dad did. That'd be like if my dad committed murder, my dad gets off scot-free with a kill me instead, you know? You know what that really reminds me of? There was a set of laws in Mesopotamia, I believe. I don't remember who set them for. The world history learned about it. It said that if you killed a man's son, it was like for builders. If a builder built a house and it killed the owner of the house, that builder would be killed. And there was another one that was, um, if the house falls and kills the owner's son, the builder's son will also die. And I'm not too sure, but I don't think that guy was Christian. He was actually before Christianity and Judaism were founded. Um, I can't remember the name of it. You know what? Okay, this video is like really sucking. I'm sorry. Uh, a lot of points made, but the main one is God created us. He's a douchebag for creating us because we didn't get to choose to be created. He's kind of like chose for us. And my favorite refuting to this argument is people say, I believe that before you were created, you chose to be created before you were created. Bullshit. I wouldn't choose to go to hell. What the fuck's your problem? So, yeah. Um, really sucky video. I'm not going to try to edit it because I really don't give a fuck. You know my points. If you don't, well, fuck.